welcome back to my channel. I'm Julie. This is Julie Saws Her Own Clothes Vlogmas Day 20. Having a cup of tea on my lunch break. Today I'm wearing, what am I wearing? By Hand London. I think it's the Zoe dress and it kind of clashes with my hair. Um, but you know, I'm working from home today and it's a lovely twill based fabric it has a lot of pleating a bit creased up because i've been sitting around in it all morning but the bottom of the skirt is pleated I've got a tie at the back to dear you can wear it at the front and a v-neck uh, sorry, a square neck bodice to it. And because it's really long and because it's got lots of kind of deep pleats in it, it is really quite warm. And this fabric was from one of the Saw Hair Legion subscription boxes last year. So that's what I'm wearing. Um, it's really nice to have all of the makes that were kind of essential for me not essential because you know the world wouldn't have ended if i hadn't got the sewing done but i've got the things that i wanted to do before christmas are done um and i was gonna kind of give it a rest but i don't know this morning before i started work i decided i wanted to have a go at cutting out the Tammy handmade um, Cara cardigan. I've had the pattern, well, since it was released and it's just sat there and I purchased some of this very chunky wool fabric. It's super chunky. And I thought it'd be nice to actually have a cardigan, that I, like a long cardigan that I can throw over everything. But I don't know about you, I, I just thought it'd be a nice, quick and easy one. And it should be, and it would be if I'd chosen a different fibre to work with. Uh, but it's a really straightforward saw. And I should have had it done in an hour. Um, but actually, this type of fabric, if you put three layers together... The overlooker just showed, are you having a laugh? I decided it didn't want to clear. So I need to figure out how I'm going to put the neck band around. And potentially I'm going to have to do some kind of a zigzag stitch on the sewing machine rather than use the overlocker, which is a shame because I wanted quite a neat finish on that. But hey ho. That's kind of sitting. I'll keep look, looking across there because it's on the Annie the Manny. Um, and all I've got left to do really is put the put the band on it, cuff the sleeves and then put a hem on it and potentially pockets. I should put pockets on because I do like pockets. Uh, so what would have been a quick and easy saw if I'd had the sense to use a sensible fabric uh and i do have quite a lot of knit fabrics that would have just zipped through that overlocker with no problem i'd have been finished it by now and probably sitting with it wrapped around me uh, but that is a work in progress i'm not sure when i will get it finished because you know when you want something that just quick and clean and get it done with that's not that's not gonna happen uh but i will get it done i will get it done I'm going to go into the advent calendars. I'm going to start as per usual with the Fabric Godmother box number 20. Only four left after this, four left. Right, box number 20 is a thimble, which is quite handy. Uh, I have started to do a little bit of hand sewing. I'm not very good at it, but so it's actually quite a can't find me metal one. Uh, but that is quite a nice little 
thimble and that is from Fabric Godmother. I'm going to go into the glossy box. Shift me Mahusif cup of tea so I don't spill it and look for box number 20 right up here and here it is in box number 20 we have a Revolution Pro Radiant Peach Primer Brightening I don't know what that is I'll have to have a look at it uh, and that was the whole point of me having this box actually I'm not very good with makeup products beauty products i think i've used the same routine since i was a teenager and you know I've got to grow up a little bit my skin isn't the same as when i was a teenager and that's for certain and maybe i need to start investing a little bit more time in thinking about the type of products that i do use and should be using um to maybe get a little bit of a better look i don't know anyway i'll have a look at that i'll have a look at that i'm not really sure what radiant peach primer brightening cream is all about but i'll, I'll check it out i've got um a whole box of stuff to go through and figure out what to do with it all but there you go this is the stacy gear vlogmas box of delights number 20 it's small look at how much sellotape she wraps this up in i wasn't joking when i said she likes a bit of sellotape um i'm not sure how easy this is actually it will be easy because i've got a, i've got a pair of scissors so i'm going to help myself a little bit and snip my way through some of the sellotape Ha ha ha, what's in this one? I have to say, I've loved watching Stacey's Vlogmas. She literally made something from scratch every day. Ah, oh. ah, oh. they are buttons. I do love buttons. I haven't got enough buttons. I've got two jars full of buttons, but it's never enough. There's always, you're always making something and go through all of your buttons and guys, nothing, there's nothing there that's right for what I'm making. They're just lovely standard black buttons that would potentially go with some of the garments that I'm, I have in, in these wonderful patterns that she's gifted me for Vlogmas. So I have two four six eight ten buttons i mean i opened the um one of the fabric godmothers this week had four little buttons which you know they're four little resin buttons they're nice little buttons but there's four of them and then i've watched other people um unboxing theirs and they had five and i'm like i didn't even get the right number of buttons <sighs> ten beautiful Okay, I mean, this is probably the shortest vlog of the week. Um, I haven't really got anything else that I'm going to be doing today other than gift wrapping. And I think that's, I don't know if that's going to be very um, worthwhile recording any of that. Just watch me wrap boxes. Can't be very exciting. Um yeah, and I think when I'm out and about, I've got to see it. You know, if I am out and about, I don't tend to take the camera with me. I'm not really one for viewing what's happening through the lens of the camera. I feel like I'm absent from whatever it is that I'm doing. And some vloggers are really, really good at capturing what they're doing, where they're going. And I love watching that. I'm just not very good at it myself. So the next few days, um, obviously there's a, a lot to do as we move into them last four days before Christmas. Um, you know, visiting people, doing the present swaps. Again, that's kind of a private situation. So I won't be recording any of that. Um, I've got a big 
food shop to do. I haven't got any presents to buy because we're, we're done now. I've got all of the presents that we need. So I'm not sure you'll get much content out of me other than my unboxing and whatever whatever springs into my brain that I'm like, oh, I'd like to make that to dear. That'll be nice and quick and then turns out not to be nice and quick. So I don't know. We'll go with the floor. I've got to say, I am really looking forward to Christmas. I think there are times where I felt like Vlogmas has been a chore rather than something enjoyable to do and not for any other reason other than you know with a full-time job in a in a house to get ready for Christmas and visitors it just if there have been days where it felt like do I need to do this today can I get can I fit this in but overall overall it's been an enjoyable experience and um yeah, I've really, I've really enjoyed following everyone else as well. So, would I do it again? Probably not. Probably not. More like definitely not. Uh, I'm glad I have done it. I've said I'm glad I have done it. I haven't quite got there yet. But, you know, four days left feels like I'm almost, I'm almost there really. But it's been fun. It's been fun sharing with you what's in my boxes and sharing with you what's in my sewing plans as I've gone through the month. But every time I try and do a little bit of footage of the sewing room, I'm finding it's a bit cluttered because I'm working from here. I'm recording from here. I've got fabrics and patterns here, there and everywhere. I've got my machines out. And it makes me feel a little bit closed in. The tree's not normally here. The table's not normally here. So I guess what I am looking forward to is getting back into a routine where the space is as it would have been pre-Vlogmas. And that I've got a bit of head space as well to be sharing with you what's going on. Every time I try and do a bit of footage I feel like I'm constantly having to shift a lot of stuff out the way so I'm just gonna get through the next few days and share with you what's in the boxes and they're going to be short vlogs from today they're going to be short to the point and I just want to keep this energy that I've got and this excitement for Christmas and not feel like I'm doing a chore so it's really great spending time with you and showing you what I'm up to but I think the next the next few days is going to be stuff that I'm going to be doing that I won't be putting the camera on for um, because some things are just I don't know it's different for all of us but some you know I, I'm not very good at my eyesight is bad enough for without trying to see the world through through a camera lens uh, so yeah you, you'll see less of me um and I think what I'll do is between between Christmas and New Year, I'll do a little bit of a recap um, on where I'm at. I've got a feeling my husband has pulled out all the stops to make sure that my Christmas presents are so related. He's made a couple of hints. I know he's purchased the ticket for me to go to the uh, Stitch Festival in March because... I had to give him the details for that so he could purchase it. So I know there's a couple of bits that are definitely sewing related, but he's thrown a couple of hints out. So, I'll, you know, I'll make sure that um, I'll share with you how all of that goes. I'm going to stop rambling because I said it was going to be quick and then I've just spent five minutes talking gibberish. What I will say is it's been a delight to spend time with you and I'll check in with you tomorrow. So have a good one. Cheers. Bye.